Hello guys, in today's video we're going to check out the best wireless keyboards in 2020. I made this list based on my personal opinion and I try to list them based on their price, quality, durability and more. If you want to see their price and find out more information about them, you can check out the links in the description below. If you'd like to win one of these products, make sure you watch the whole video, click the like button and comment the hidden word found in this video. Number 5. And Pro 2 First up, we have another great gaming keyboard that offers incredible customizability. It gives you the ability to reprogram every key to macros and it offers amazing customizability of its RGB lighting, which is great. The Anpro 2 is a nice looking compact keyboard that feels very well made and has many great features that any gamer would love. It has some disadvantages like the lack of incline settings and palm rest, but it still manages to be in our top 5 list thanks to its performance. It's a great 60% keyboard that feels very well built and has many more great features that any gamer would love. You should also know that this keyboard doesn't come with a palm rest and the incline settings of this keyboard can't be adjusted. I should also mention that there are no arrow keys, but you can use a combination of the FN key and the WASD keys to use arrows. It has a nice look and the keycaps are PBT and come with a matte finish. Each key is individually backlit and they look amazing. It's a very compact and portable wireless mechanical keyboard that looks great. When it comes to battery life, this keyboard you should know that it can last between 8 hours and 4 weeks of constant use, and this depends on how you use the LEDs. It has many more great features, and if you're looking for a keyboard that's very compact and looks nice, you should definitely take a look at this one and see if it's the one that you were looking for. Number 4. Logitech K400 Plus Moving on, we have the K400 Plus. This one is thin and lightweight, measuring 0.9 by 14 by 5.5 inches and weighing 0.6 pounds. The keyboard earns its all-in-one moniker by replacing the 10-key numeric pad found in full-size keyboards with a large touchpad. The result is a wireless keyboard that comes full with a clickable pad, thus eliminating the need for a wireless mouse. As someone who has hustled with lots of wireless mice on the couch while trying to get a flat surface for precision pointing, I think this is the most notable improvement. This keyboard uses a wireless receiver that's plugged into a TV or PC's USB port and facilitates direct connection to the K400 Plus as well as other compatible devices. When not in use, the dongle can be shelved in the keyboard's battery compartment and the keyboard comes with two pre-installed AA batteries. Installing the Logitech K400 Plus is very straightforward. It's a matter of plugging the dongle into an available USB port and voila! It'll automatically install the requisite software and you're ready to go. The Logitech K400 Plus is an inexpensive wireless keyboard that's a great choice for anyone looking for a value wireless keyboard for living room media consumption. It has a built-in touchpad, something that you don't get in most budget wireless keyboards since most come as a wireless combo, mouse and keyboard plus dongle. Its keys are more closely spaced than those of the TK830 wireless all-in-one and the K400 Plus's touchpad is much smaller. Number 3. Logitech MX Keys Another amazing keyboard from Logitech is the MX Keys. This one is built on a single metal plate, giving it a durability that would seem to make it an ideal mobile accessory. You'll think twice about tossing it in your gear bag, though, once you feel the full weight of its nearly 1.8 pounds. The keyboard is actually best suited for your desktop, where its heft keeps it from shifting and sliding under typing force. Both the MX Keys and the MX Master 3 mouse connect your computer via the Logitech Unify receiver. Installation is very simple, just plug this dongle into a free USB port for your PC or Mac and the computer should recognize the keyboard instantly. Like the MX Master 3 mouse, the keyboard can be customized with Logitech Options software. Once you download it, you can customize or remap any of the function or media keys, as well as the calculator, screen capture, lockup and lock keys by selecting it from a graphic image and choosing from a list of shortcut options. I should mention that the software also lets you see what devices are paired with each easy switch, manage on-screen notifications and enable or disable battery saving mode. Of particular note to Mac users is an option to always keep the keyboard in Mac layout. The MX Keys is easily one of the best wireless keyboards I've ever used. Like the MX Master 3, it's an expensive peripheral, but well worth the investment for power users who are finicky about their peripherals. Number 2. Logitech G915 the Logitech G915 is a very nice-looking, low-profile mechanical gaming keyboard that has dedicated macro keys, full RGB lighting, multi-device pairing, and more. 
it really is an exceptional keyboard for gaming. It's extremely responsive and it has the programmable macro keys which are amazing. It's a pretty large keyboard and it has a metal frame along with hard plastic on the back. Moving on, I should mention that the company has designed a new set of switches that look great along with the Roma G switches that deliver an amazing experience. It has an aluminium build and it's very lightweight, which means that you can carry it with you wherever you want. It has a very durable build and it can last you for a long time. The keycaps are made out of plastic and they have a low profile, which makes the keyboard look very cool. One of the best things about this keyboard is the new GL switches, and there are three types of GL switches that you can choose from. The GL Tactile is great for gamers and in general, and for typists. The GL Linear switches are better for successive keystrokes, and the GL Clicky switches deliver a pretty amazing experience. One of the best features of this keyboard is the light sync, which syncs in your lighting with the audio delivering an amazing experience. It really is one of the best keyboards in the market, and you should definitely check it out. Number 1. Razer Black Widow V3 Pro the Black Widow V3 Pro screams Razer, from its premium build and keycaps to its flashy RGB, media controls and included wrist rest. It's a fantastic option as a full-size wireless gaming keyboard, but it's expensive and needs software to change the RGB. It really is the best wireless keyboard on the market. The Black Widow V3 Pro looks like many of Razer's keyboards. Take its showy media dial or the slithering snake emblem on the bottom of the keyboard and it includes plush leatherette wrist rest. Overall, it's a simple all-black build boasting a sturdy aluminium top plate and plastic base. Most of this keyboard's flash comes from the RGB, which Razer's never been too shabby at, but has upgraded even further by debuting transparent versions of its mechanical switches that are supposed to help the LEDs shine through more. The Black Widow V3 Pro features tactile and clicky Razer Green or Linear and Silent Razer Yellow 3.5mm total travel actuating at 1.2mm with 45 grams of force mechanical switches. Out of the box, it's programmed to turn off after 15 minutes of inactivity. With these settings, my review unit averaged a little over 14 hours before needing a charge. The Razer Black Widow V3 Pro delivers on Razer's reputation of high-end gaming. Despite its wireless connection, it proved as reliable as a wired keyboard, so long as battery life wasn't on its last legs. Buying Guide Firstly, Layout An important thing when choosing a keyboard is the layout. Nowadays, most keyboards have between 88 and 101 keys. Most of them include a number pad. However, if you think that you don't need a number pad, you should check out smaller keyboards that take less space. Also, there are plenty of great keyboards that have extra keys for programming game commands for your favorite MMORPG. Something else that most gaming keyboards have are the media keys, which are located in the upper right hand and have controls for skipping a track, play, pause, and more. Secondly, compatibility. Most keyboards nowadays connect to the computer via USB ports. The old PS2 ports are almost obsolete. Wireless keyboards connect to the system via Bluetooth and are somewhat tricky to set up, unlike the plug-and-play USB cord keyboard. Most keyboards need some software installed on your computer to use the function keys. Make sure the keyboard is compatible with your system before you actually buy one. And thirdly, types. Before you make your final decision, first you need to make sure which type of keyboard fits you best. There are three types of keyboards, mechanical, membrane and scissor. The mechanical is the most good-looking option for a gamer. The thing is that it's not all about the looks. These type of keyboards deliver a pretty good performance too. The membrane keyboards are pretty simple. They have a rubber membrane under each key and they're the most affordable keyboards. The scissor keyboards are commonly used in laptops and they're very quiet. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you found it helpful, please remember to leave a like and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this in the future. If you have any questions related to these products, you can leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.